With the highly contagious Omicron variant surging, many health officials are urging people to wear more protective masks. So the CDC may update its guidance to recommend the N95 or the KN95 mask for everyone. That's according to the Washington Post. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live for us in Raleigh, getting some answers about the different types of face coverings and how North Carolina is upping its game when it comes to these masks. Rod and Angela, the State Department of Health and Human Services tells me they are currently in the process of sending two million masks to local health departments and departments of social services all over the state. I spoke with local experts who say if you really want to protect yourself from Omicron, you might want to replace this type of mask with this one. With the Omicron variant surging, it's incredibly contagious. Experts say well fitting N95 and KN95 masks are your best options when it comes to face coverings. They contain many, many layers, so they protect the wearer from 95% of the particles in the air. The other thing with those masks is that the fibers are electrostatically charged, and that increases their ability to trap particles 10 times over other masks. Those types of products have the best uh, filtration efficiency um, and typically have a, a really good fit to the face. And those are two things you have to have. Dr. Brian Ormond and his students at NC State have tested dozens of different masks. When you go to put a surgical or medical mask on your face, it's not intended to fit your face. When you go to the KN95 and N95, they're intended to fit to someone's face. If you can feel air leaking out of your mask. It may be that you do need to try a couple different versions. Uh, maybe an N95 doesn't quite fit your face, um, but a KN95 might. While N95s and KN95s are disposable, you don't have to throw them away after each use. It could work to have five different masks and use one mask for Mondays, another mask for Tuesdays, and on. And no face covering, no mask, no respirator is going to be completely perfect. And it's all about cutting back as much as possible in terms of what you could be exposed to. And I spoke to the Wake County Health Department. They do expect to get some of these N95 masks from the state, but they're still waiting to find out a timeline and exactly how many they'll receive. Live in Raleigh, Megan Newland, CBS 17 News. All right.